Hello everyone, my name is Wendy. In this video, we will look at a quick and easy way to crop an image into a shape such as a circle for your thumbnails, web profile image or for printing or whatever with layer clipping masks and using the composite mode in layer groups. I'll be using Windows and GIMP 2.10.22, which is the latest version of GIMP at the time this video was created. The images used are from freepick.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. So let's get started. All we need are three layers, one background layer, one clipping layer mask with a shape or a text, and an image layer that is to be clipped. Then we add them to a layer group and that's where all the magic happens. So let's start. Come up to the file menu and we'll start a new project. For this I'll leave all the default settings I had set up for this YouTube thumbnail, which is 1280 by 720. Open the advanced options. I'll leave all the default settings for this video. Let's come down to fill with and then select white and then click OK. Now let's add an image. Come up to the file menu and select open as layer. And then the image will open as a new layer in the layer panel. Navigate to the file where your image is, then click on open. If you look over at the layers panel, you will see the images in the layer stack. I'm going to configure the layers panel so it'll be easier to view. I'll just come up here to the configuration tab in preview size, I'll set it to enormous. And then I'll just drag out this edge. There we are. I think that's going to be a lot easier now. This image is very big, so I'll have to scale it. If you're following along, make sure you're still on the image layer in the layer panel and select the scale tool from the toolbox. Click anywhere on the image to activate the tool. Then come over to the toolbox and in the scale settings, check keep aspect. And now you'll be able to scale the image in proportion. To scale, all you need to do is click hold and drag the image up. There's a small settings panel here on the right hand side. You can check the width and height. Come over and grab the move tool and we'll be able to reposition the image. Might still want to scale it a little more so I'll reselect the scale tool. Scale a little more and when I'm happy with it I'll just select the Move tool to disactivate the Scale tool. I'll try to center it a little. Now let's create the final layer, which is going to be our clipping mask. Come over to the Layers panel and click on the button to add a new layer. Now here in the dialog, change the name. I'll just keep the name I had from before. I'll keep all the default settings and in Fill With, it's very important that it is set to Transparency. Then click OK. Now we can create the circular shape. Come over to the toolbox and select the ellipse tool. Drop down to the tool settings and options. In mode, make sure the first button is selected. And make sure anti-aliasing is checked. This will keep the edges smooth. Then check expand from center. Then check fixed aspect ratio. This will create a circular shape. And then from the drop down menu, select center lines. This is just a personal preference. Come over to the canvas and in the center, click and drag out the circle. The selected area is displayed by moving black and white dots. Everything inside the selected boundaries will be edited. To adjust the size, position the mouse pointer inside these squares on the corners or on the edges. To redo the circle, just click outside the selected area and then drag out another circle. And to move it, place the mouse pointer right here in the center, click and hold and reposition the circle. Make sure the circle is not outside of the canvas boundaries. When you're happy with the size and the position, come up to the color selector. If you can't see black and white in the color boxes, click on the small reset button below the color boxes. Then make sure that black is the foreground color. Now grab the bucket full tool and click inside the selected area. Even though we have filled the selected area, the selection is still active and before we can continue, we will have to disactivate the selection. So come up to the select menu and select none. Now we have the two elements we need to create the clipping group. So come over to the layers panel and below the panel, click on the create new layer group button. 
a new layer is created with a folder icon. Double click on the title and change the title. I'll type in circular mask. Now we're going to add the images to the group folder. So click and hold and drag one of the layers into the group folder. When you hover over the layer, it will highlight around the sides. Then release the mouse and the image is inserted into the group folder. The folder thumbnail will now show the image of the layer that was just inserted. Now let's add the clipping layer mask to the group. Let's look at the group before we move on. The layers are more indented than the other layers on the stack and are displayed in a tree-like way. You can open and close the folder by clicking on the plus and minus button situated beside the group thumbnail. You can also delete the folder and all the content by selecting first the group layer, then hitting the delete button below the panel. I'll hit Ctrl Z to undo that. OK, let's move on. The clipping layer, which is the circular mask, has to be below the other layer that will be clipped. In this case, we will be clipping the image of the male model. As you can see, I need to change the order of the layers, so I will click, hold and drag the image of the male model above the circular mask layer. Make sure the image is still inside the group. Select the image of the male model and right click, then from the top of the menu, under Edit Layer Attributes, click Composite Mode and choose Intersection. You can also do this by double clicking on the thumbnail of the image layer and the Edit Layer Attributes dialog will appear. Keep all the default settings except for the Composite Mode, select Intersection, then OK. When not finished yet, come up and grab the Move tool. You can move the image. If you turn up the background, you will see the cropped version of the layer mask. However, it's not cropped and you can still move and reposition the image inside. You can still rescale the image if you need to. Click on the image, make sure you have the image layer selected, then the Scale tool, and you can scale. You can also modify the mask. To do this, first of all, let's deactivate the image layer by clicking on the small eye beside the thumbnail. And when you're finished modifying, click back on the eye icon to open the image layer again. Now there are a number of options we can do. We can crop the image with the background and export as. Or we can crop it with transparency. To do this, first of all, let's turn off the background layer. Come up to the Edit menu and select Copy Visible. Then go back to the Edit menu and select Paste As. And in the Paste As menu, select New Image. And this will create a new image with the image that we saved to the clipboard. And now the new image is the active image on the canvas. Before we actually crop the size of the image, let's add a border. Come up to Filters, select Light and Shadow, then select Drop Shadow. And from here we can set the values to create a border around the image and not a shadow as you would expect. In the dialog, double click on the X and Y and type in a value of 0, then hit Enter. When the chain is closed, they will keep the same values. Now in Blur, click inside the box and you can drag the slide right down to zero. In Grow Shape, you can choose between Circular, Square and Diamond. I'll leave it Circular. Grow Radius will come back to in a minute. Click in the color box and choose a color. I'll keep the black color. Opacity, click inside the box and drag it right up to two. Now come back to Grow Radius from here we'll set the value for the border. I'll just type in a value of 10, then click OK. And there you have your border. Now come up to the toolbox and select the Crop tool. Here in the settings, make sure everything is unchecked. I'll leave the default golden selection for the guide. Now click and drag out the shape of a box around the image. You can change the size by placing the mouse pointer inside the selected area of the boundary and drag on a side or a corner. Make sure all the sides are still inside the canvas area. When you're happy with the size, press Enter on the keyboard. Now come over to the Layers panel, right-click on the layer, and from the menu, select Layer to Image Size. Now double-click on the title and change the name. I'll just type in Model. And now we're ready for exporting. Now all you need to do is export your image 
In a PNG format, this will keep the transparency. We'll wrap up here. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy.